In 1888, the sisters built the first hospital for Little Rock. Today, we're building a world-class heart institute. By investing $36 million in the best technology. The state's only cardiac hybrid room that's both a cath lab and a surgical suite, providing the most advanced treatments. Plus new imaging and cath labs in both Little Rock and Sherwood. To change heart care for you and your family for generations. The Jack Stevens Heart Institute at St. Vincent. Dr. Morgan Sauer joining us this morning. You see some rain falling over there. Todd's going to talk about that in just a little bit. Good to see some rain out there at least. Right, Dr. Morgan? Uh, soon, please. Soon. Something it, for my yard. I, I agree. I agree. Dr. Morgan uh, Sauer is from the Longevity Center at St. Vincent's, and we're going to be kind of answering maybe some of your questions this morning if you have anything about the uh, flu season, also shingles yeah. and pneumonia. And let's start with the flu vaccine, especially in uh, what Todd said, you know, seasoned citizens, mm -hmm. older citizens. And why is it so important for them to get this vaccine? Because 90% of people who die from the flu are senior citizens. Really? There's 225,000 hospitalizations per year for the flu, and it's probably one of our most common communicable diseases other than the common cold. However, with the shot, 70 to 90% effective for preventing flu. Really? So yep. that at least gives you a good chance if you were happen to be in part of that 90% you do not want to be. Uh, and now you talk about how effective it is. Let's talk pneumonia now, another killer that we hear about in the news. Uh, why is it so important and how can people, you know, especially over the age of 65, get this vaccination? What will it do for them? Basically what all vaccinations do is they train the immune system. They train your body to see something abnormal and when you see it again, you're much better at killing off the bacteria or the virus. So for the pneumonia vaccine, we train the body to kill the most common type of pneumonia. Now if it's a viral pneumonia or another pneumonia, the pneumonia vax won't work. However, the vast majority of pneumonia is caused by a specific bacteria that we've isolated and can help with. Typically, you need to have one of these shots after age 65 unless you have asthma, COPD, pneumonia, or have had your spleen taken out, or diabetes. Younger, you need a shot when you're younger if you have diabetes. We're looking at some of the different uh, effects right there. How serious is pneumonia? Pneumonia is deadly. Pneumonia is very common in senior citizens, uh, especially when it's communicable or actually if you inhale mouth bacteria. So definitely getting a pneumovax, the pneumonia shot, is very important for good longevity and good health. And I see here as many as 40% of elderly people who get pneumonia will not survive that disease. So when you look at the, the preventative measures can go a long way getting that vaccination. It's training the immune system. As we age, our immune system gets weaker. Vaccines train them and make them stronger. Very nice. All right, let's talk about shingles finally. Wow. For those at home who, who may not know exactly what is shingles, it's not chicken pox, but it's similar. It's a virus. Actually, it is a chicken pox. It is, okay. The chicken pox virus goes dormant. It lays on the side of our spine, may not ever come back out but as we, you and I were talking about earlier sometimes it does come back out you know, younger folks but especially when the immune system gets weak in older folks it can come out with devastating consequences Wait, you say it lies dormant on our spine why mm -hmm. is that exactly there's a, a, a bundle of nerves and that's just where it likes to go and hang out it goes deep in deep in the dormancy and when it comes out of hibernation it comes out like a hungry bear and attacks viciously really and yep. it can even can it be deadly if, if, if the side effects get too bad too extreme well, yes absolutely we were talking Talking about my grandmother mm -hmm. and when she had the shingles she became so weak from the pain that she wasn't able to eat and drink and that actually was what uh, started the end of her life so shingles is definitely a problem there's a pain syndrome that happens after shingles very frequently called post herpetic neuralgia people who get the shingles vaccine actually have an almost zero percent chance of getting post herpetic neuralgia let's talk about that vaccine where, where can you get it exactly uh, and then how do, do you have to be eligible like do you have to have shingles to get it or can you go to as a preventative measure it's a preventative measure okay. we're trying to stop this problem before it gets started so okay. shingles vaccines are available at many pharmacies throughout towns uh, you can go to websites and look shingles vaccine location um, if you're looking for the flu shots or the pneumonia vaccinations uh, places like the longevity center at st vincent's are accepting medicare and can actually uh, provide those vaccines there in the clinic all right very nice very important there and are, are the you said these are covered by medicare most all three of them uh, the flu shot and the shing uh, the flu shot and the pneumonia vaccine are totally covered. The shingles vaccine is not completely covered, okay. but it is money well spent to avoid having that terrible illness. Now, if you've already had it, would you recommend getting it so it doesn't come back or will it come back regardless no matter what? I would go ahead and do it. Just in case. Yes. Okay. Once, a, once in a lifetime. That's not bad at all. Dr. Morgan Sauer joining us this morning from St. Vincent's. Thank you so much for coming in, maybe answering Thanks a few questions me. you have. If you have any other questions, you're always welcome to call the uh, Longevity Center at St. Vincent. The number's on your screen, and we also have the address for you right there. And coming